Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing it, the FabFitFun spoilers. I don't know how many I'm gonna get done, but we are doing it, some of it. Unfortunately, I have my own subscription box business and spoilers land right when I start shipping. So I start shipping on Monday, April 15th. So I'm done as much research. This is literally just one category. If you like wonder how much notes I take on each product, I have done as much research as I can so far. By the time I get to shipping, whatever I get to as far as finishing that research, filming that research, editing those videos and getting them out to you, that's as far as I get. Whether that's category one, two, three, or all six, I don't know. I don't know when I will know. So we are gonna start with category one because I think it usually has the most items and also maybe the more high value items. So we're gonna start with that. I'm also going to reward my YouTube members. They pay 99 cents a month to be a member of my channel. So they're gonna get this video a day before everyone else. Everyone will get the videos eventually, but they will get them first. Depending on how I'm editing, that could, could be like lucrative or not, you know? It might get to the before the start of customization, which I think is the 18th. I'm gonna speed through it. I have so much of, this is literally only, I think it's like 16 pages and it's category one. So we have a lot, we have a lot to talk about. So I am gonna speed through them, but you're gonna get all the information you need. The first two items are from the brand Le Specs and they're sunglasses. They're two different styles of sunglasses. Both of them are $55 retail value, but I'm gonna talk about them separately. So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna put a photo up on screen. The first set is called Velodrome. I don't know what that means. It's a very odd word, but it is cat eye shape. And they're black. Like I said, they're $55. They have a category three UV protection. It's 100% UV protection, but category three. The lens is 54 millimeters. And this is something you might want to check on your own face. And I'll explain a little bit why. And then 14 for the bridge of the nose. That's from lens to lens. So you can actually add 54 plus 14 plus 54. And that gives you the total across. And this is in millimeters. And then back is, I believe, 145 millimeters. That's less important, I think, unless you have like a really odd shaped head or something. This first pair does have enough reviews. The second pair does not, but the first one does. 4.9 star with 16 reviewers. That's not really a lot of reviews. I try to share if it's more than 10 reviews that I find, but 16 still kind of a low number. So take all of this with a grain of salt. The positives were clarity, quality, that they got compliments while wearing them, stuff like that. And the negatives were that it didn't really work for small faces. Like two people said their face was too small. So that's why I said, you wanna kind of do that across your face measurement. And there were a couple also that had issues with the hinges, but I think that it wasn't a deal breaker. Like they still both left positive reviews. So I imagine that it was just like, they wanted to write them negative. Now cat eye works really well for square faces or rectangle faces kind of like angular faces. Helps a lot with that. Also heart shape. So heart shape is when your forehead's like bigger than your lower part of your face. And the reason it helps with that is because it spreads the cat eye shape, puts attention here. And then this is kind of like the widest part of your face instead of this being the widest part of your face with those cat eye lenses. So if you have any of those three face shapes, it's gonna work really well for you. Maybe not as good for circle or oval, but a lot of those angular faces, cat eye works really well. The next set, same price, $55, is called Dynamite. It's in the color tobacco. So the other one's black, a little bit more classic. You can kind of match with everything, tobacco. It is kind of a unisex color and this is a unisex frame. So that's pretty good, but a little less matchy-matchy, especially if you have cool toned skin, it's a little bit kind of orangey. I have a photo up somewhere. And it has the same UV protection and everything. This one has 52. 22 so this part is a little bit wider the nose part is wider and then 52 so the other one maybe works for smaller noses i'm not 100 sure but it's a big difference 52 22 52 you can add that together again and get all the way across your face also going to be important for your face shape later when i talk about that in this as well this one doesn't have reviews so it did, but it was like two reviews or I think maybe even one review. I don't fully remember when I did this. Rectangle frames like this actually work on the opposite face shapes. And first of all, if you love cat eye and you have a really round face and you love how you look in cat eye, it's about loving how you look. I'm just talking about in general, like in theory, 
what type of frame works with what type of face shape. So this one, because it's rectangular and it's really rectangular, has like kind of those sharp edges, this works for oval and circle faces, which is kind of the opposite of the other one. This one you wouldn't necessarily want to do with a heart shape as well because it's so wide at the top and your forehead is also so wide at the top and it's just kind of like adding that, whereas like the cat eye gives it like a different illusion. But completely up to you, like I said, love what you love. It will work for square faces, but only if the square and the glasses are really like in the same proportion. So you don't want those glasses to be wider than the widest part of your face. That's why that dimension really matters. If you have a square face, if you have a round face, it'll just look oversized on you and you'll add that like the like angles to help those edges that are a little kind of too soft from being round. I have kind of a round face. Maybe I have a heart shape, but I feel like I have more of a roundish face. Do I look like a circle right now? Anyway. So for me, rectangular glasses kind of break up that like too much of a circle, if that makes sense, adding those angles in. Whereas if you have a square and it's your face is obviously not like a square, but it's just a little bit more angular. Because this is a unisex style, I have a feeling that wideness is going to be a little bit wide. So if you have that square shape, you're going to want a wider face for it to work for you. Like I said, this is all personal preference. Wear whatever you feel good in. I'm just kind of giving you, I guess like the tricks of accessories and like which ones highlight like the, the different types of bone structures. I'm gonna go look for my measuring tape because the next item I'm gonna want to show the measurements on screen. And I didn't think that through and grab it, so I'll be right back. The next item is from Business and Pleasure and we have had a Business and Pleasure item in the past. It is one of my favorite FabFitFun items that I've ever received. I use it all the time. It's a little cooler, kind of like lunchbox. This is a cooler tote bag. So kind of like you could take it to the beach and it keeps your things cold. The dimensions on this one, by the way, it's a $99 retail value, which is kind of crazy for a cooler tote bag, but it's 16 by 10 and a half by five. So you're just doing like finger to heat finger here for me. This is obviously like you're on screen. It's an estimate. You can kind of just tell by the fact of what my face and like body looks like behind it. But those are the dimensions. They have this kind of like a FabFitFun collaboration. The other items on that website are $109 and $119 for the same kind of tote bag. When I read reviews, I read reviews and it included all tote bags, including this smaller one. So those are a little bit larger, almost double actually. I think it was 16 by 20 instead of 16 by 10.5. Big difference there. And this one holds five gallons. That one held two gallons more. So it's a little bit bigger. So some of the reviews are like, oh, great capacity, but five gallons, seven gallons, still probably pretty good. And that one also had cotton. This one is 85% polyester, I believe, and then 15% waterproof vinyl so it's keeping everything in there not like wetting the bag the other ones were still polyester and the waterproof vinyl but it had 40 percent cotton and then also five percent leather because it has like a leather part to the handle this one does not have that and also that one had a zipper in the back but it's a little bit bigger so that makes sense overall i'm just gonna give you the reviews on this product but understand that it's for all the products together they somehow merged all the products in their reviews and i was as i was reading i was realizing some of them are talking about the larger capacity some of them are talking about like the middle one and then some of them are talking about this one so i'm just gonna use them all together because the reviews still had a lot of the same trends no matter which one they were talking about so in both cases there was positive reviews but when i looked like and googled across multiple sites, I found a 4.3 star rating with about 58 reviewers. Then when I went to the business and pleasure site, it was a 4.9 star rating. I think it was 70 reviewers. So big difference. They might be deleting some of their negative reviews because 4.3 and 4.9, that 0.6 actually makes a big difference. It means and I didn't really find negative reviews on business and pleasures website. So we're going to kind of talk about the positives and negatives on both, but mostly the negatives obviously on the other sites. The negative was really about the zipper. Like sometimes the zipper, they were having issues with the zipper and then just that the price was really high. And I agree, $99, $109 and $119 is a lot for an insulated tote bag. Luckily, 
we're not paying full price. And that's one of the best things about getting subscription boxes. So the positives were that it kept things cold. So you're actually getting that insulation. It's really working. Um, I'm sure people were still putting, you know, like ice packs and stuff, but that's what you would do with a normal cooler as well. That it was comfortable. Like the strap was really comfortable. Like I said, that other one has a leather portion to it. So I don't know if that makes a difference to those straps or not. And capacity, you're kind of getting three different capacities depending on which level you're getting. I assume they're all still pretty good. Five gallons, seven gallons. I feel like that still will put enough, you know, drinks or snacks or whatever you're taking to the beach. I think it's really cool and stylish and I'm not sure if this is going in my box, but like I said, I really love the other item I got from them. So it's a, it's high possibility on my list. The next product is a fragrance. Not only is it a fragrance, it is a cruelty free fragrance. I don't think I have a fun list that actually, but Vacation is a sunscreen brand and it is a cruelty free sunscreen brand. And it is confirmed by multiple sites, not just them saying that they're cruelty free. So that's great news. And it's a fragrance. Fragrances are pretty hard to find cruelty free. I feel like a lot of the industry focuses on like animal testing to, and they like, Anyway, we're not gonna get into that, but <laughs> they do focus on animal testing a lot in the fragrance industry. So that's one of the ones that was really difficult for me because there was a lot of fragrances I loved that I could not use anymore when I went cruelty-free. This is a cruelty-free fragrance, a cruelty-free brand for their sun, sun care as well. They're really known for their sun care, like sunscreen, tanning lotions, things like that. So it's, the brand is called Vacation and I didn't memorize the notes. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna read them. So I'm gonna look down for a minute. It is Pedigrine Essence, this is Top Notes, Coconut Water and Coconut Milk, and then the middle is Bergamot, which is kind of like citrusy, Solar Musk, Banana, and Pineapple. So you're seeing it kind of smells like sunscreen, right? And then the base notes are Pool Water, which I have never thought, ooh, pool water, that sounds wonderful. I rather have like ocean water, but you know, whatever. And then Swimsuit Lycra, I could not make this up. Like literally you're gonna smell like the pool without being at the pool and sea salt. You get one ounce, this is only available to Canada and the US, it's not available for their UK customers, but I am intrigued because it's cruelty free fragrance. I'm not sure how I feel about pool water or swimsuit smell <laughs> when I'm, I'm probably already gonna be wearing swimsuits and like being near pools and pools kind of smell like chlorine to me. So. If anyone else has smelled this, let me know. I did get all the reviews and there are really good reviews about the scent. So those reviews, it's 4.3 stars, 1,133 reviewers. So there's a lot of people trying this. It's been around and a lot of positives about the scent. There are some negatives about the scent, but not how it smelled, just that it didn't last very long, but there's a lot of positives that it lasts all day. So you kind of get both teams there, positive group and negative group saying didn't last long enough and some saying like it lasted all day. So I don't know who to believe. And then a lot about how great it smelled. It was described as like summery, ocean, beach. There was uh, exotic tropical fruits, a lot of citrus descriptions. So definitely that bergamot's probably coming up, that coconut and pineapple maybe based on the description. I think it smells like sunscreen. <laughs> if you think of all the notes and you think of those descriptors, the thing they have in common is sunscreen. So I think it smells like sunscreen, but I kind of like the smell of sunscreen if it's a good sunscreen. There was also positives that it was like great for daytime and evening, which I can't imagine if it smells like sunscreen that that's like what I would want to wear out on a date in like a fancy restaurant or something, but who knows? And for the negatives, it was like compared to others because it's a eau de toilette. It's not like a perfume, um, which whatever, I don't know really the difference. I think it has to do with the amount of like fragrance oils, maybe somebody else can correct me if I'm wrong, but it is some said like it's too expensive for not being perfume. That was some of the negatives. More than one person said that. I also wonder if people like feed off each other and read someone else's and they're like, yeah, that's right. Cause I read some of the same things, which is interesting. And then the other one that I saw pretty often was it got clogged. So like the mechanism where it sprays out of it got clogged. Those are kind of the two negatives. There weren't too many in those 1000 reviews. I obviously didn't read all 1000 reviews. I kind of go through like 50 or so and try to get you guys any trends I see in those. And if I don't find any trends, I keep going, which 
can be very time consuming, which you see why I don't always post these videos every single season. Next up is the Alley Bucket Bag. You see it up here. And I will, it's a $78 retail value. I don't really trust all of these retail values sometimes because that's really high for what this looks like. It's made out of paper, I believe, is one of the ingredients or one of the, not ingredients, materials. But it's 12.5 and then by nine by nine, because this is circular, I'm assuming that's just a diameter and they're saying like nine by nine like that. So imagine this but as a circle, nine by nine, and then 12.5. So a little, it's cute. It's definitely cute. It has that like cinch design. For the strap, it's 24 and a half. And then it says fully extended. Is 49, um, which I don't even think I can get this on screen 49, but that's a lot. So I'm, I'm guessing the 12 or the 24 and a half is the half of this, right? And so they're talking about shoulder down. And then they're talking about like fully what the whole strap is as one piece. This is what I think. So like I said, the shell is made of paper and then the lining is made of polyester. They're both 100, 100% 100 paper, 100% polyester. And unfortunately for this item, there weren't enough reviews. Next, we have something from Beach Riot, and I actually really love Beach Riot. I have a couple of their two-piece kind of like, I don't know, but they're really cute sets. I have like three of them. So I obviously like their quality, but it's kind of pricey. This is their Alexa top. It has really cool stripe details everywhere. It's $118 MSRP. Beach Riot is pricey. The other items I bought, I've bought in clearance. So it makes sense to be $118, but I, I wouldn't have bought the items that I bought full price either. So I'm glad that this is offered in this box. It has buttons. It has buttons on the wrist. Words are hard. It has buttons on the wrist as well. It's really beautiful colors, like stripe and like very beachy. It really would be cute as a cover up. This comes in small, medium, large, extra large, and then plus size. And they give you dimensions for each one. But what's really odd is if you go to Beach Riot's website, you find the exact same top. They don't have this like small, medium. It's extra small, small, medium, large, and then extra large. So they have them separated by one size instead of these like joint sizes. So I'm really confused if FabFitFun is getting it wrong or if they like changed the labels and maybe changed something. In. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but it's the same price. It looks exactly the same. The photos are the same. All the other information, like what it's made of, everything, the same. So we'll see how they come when they come. I'm definitely not gonna choose this one. It's got a little bit too much pink for my liking. I don't like the color pink. If you've been on this channel following me before, you know that's like, ugh, I don't know why. It just like grosses me out, the color pink. So I try not to buy clothing that has pink on it for that reason. This product is made 100% cotton. And then the sizing, small, medium is dress size two to eight. Then large, extra large is dress size 10 to 14. And then the plus size is 16 to 22. For care instructions on this one, they recommend hand washing. I don't hand wash anything, even if it says hand wash. That's just me. Um, anyone else out there? <laughs> or I dry clean it if it's like really, really precious, but even that's pretty rare. I, I put it in there, but it says you can also put it in your washing machine, but just alone and then lay flat to dry. Seems kind of like a lot of care instruction work for a cover up. I feel like a cover up should be really easy, but if it's $118, you're gonna wanna take care of it. It didn't have any reviews, so that's as much information as I could get for you. Okay, next up, we have Jonathan Nadler. Jonathan Nadler X FabFitFun, meaning it is exclusive for FabFitFun. I don't fully love that because it means I can't find reviews. I didn't find reviews on it. This is a cocktail shaker and it's $50. I will say I like every Jonathan Adler, like FabFitFun exclusive that I've received so far, but is it worth $50? I don't know. <laughs> what are cocktail shakers really worth? It is eight <laughs> and then by 3.25, 3.25, which again, I imagine is a circle because cocktail shakers like when you look down are circular. So 3.25 by 3.25, the circle part. Seems kind of small actually, but I don't know. I should have checked it against one of my other cocktail shakers, but I feel like they're usually 
tad bit bigger than that if you see like I don't know what do you think comment down below it does hold 18.4 ounces so maybe that's a better measurement than dimensions and hand wash only which I also will not do if I have it it would still go in my dishwasher I kind of just like risk it because I am too lazy to hand wash things but <laughs> I don't know and what else is there I think I said everything I guess it's made out of stainless steel there's nothing else. It didn't have reviews. Like I said, it's exclusive to FabFitFun. And now we're getting to the fun part, the skincare, the body care, all the things that you really come to this channel for. I have a ridiculous amount of notes. I will look down at my notes a little bit more for this. Everything else kind of I memorized. I have a good memory, so it's easy to memorize, but some of these things are gonna be a little specific. The nice thing is from Beauty Stock Cosmetics, this is a cruelty-free brand. It is their Universal C, so vitamin C, Skin Refiner Brightening Vitamin C Serum, and an $85 retail value. It's fragrance-free, paraben-free, also cruelty-free. You're getting one ounce for that $85 value. Does it have great ingredients? I would say yes. It also has silicone though. I try not to use silicone in my skincare that I'm gonna have on all day. So this is a serum all day. It's not something I wash off. If silicone is in some sort of mask that I'm about to take off or if it's in something that I like briefly put on, like a cleanser maybe, less important to me. But if it's my primer, my moisturizer or a serum like this, I'm a little more careful to not put silicone. That's because silicone is an occlusive. It's gonna sit on top of my face. It does give you that like nice smooth look. But if you have oily skin or acne prone skin like me, then it might cause a little problem for you because it's holding that oil in and we, we all know where that's going, right? So this does have some silicones in it. If you also have issues with silicones, this one is not for you. The type of vitamin C that it has is L-ascorbic acid. That is vitamin C full force, like the vitamin C, the one and only, <laughs> without having things done to it to make it a little more stable or a little less potent or all those other things. So that means it is full force potency, which has its pros and cons. Positives to full potency vitamin C, you're gonna see that brightening way faster. It's just like it's giving you all the good stuff 100%. Negatives. If you have sensitive skin, you're gonna see increased irritation because it's strong. Potent is strong. The strength is what causes that sort of irritation. Um, also really unstable. Any light, air, heat, all of that is gonna cause it to lose its potency. To lose, it's gonna not last as long with any of that. So if it's not properly packaged, that bottle, you might not even get through that bottle. And then if you let it sit on a shelf too long, it's not gonna do anything when you finally put it on your face. So the L-ascorbic acid doesn't have that stability where you can keep it for longer or keep it open for longer or anything like that. Another thing is you wouldn't necessarily mix vitamin C with niacinamide. You can do it same day, just not same time. So if you're using niacinamide, this would be a little bit of a strong vitamin C to be mixing with that. And then some forms of vitamin E as well, you wouldn't necessarily mix it. So let's talk about what's in it. There's ingredients here. Like the first one, like I said, is a silicone. Pure form vitamin C. There's another silicone after that. Uh, you have patrolatum. That's a skin protector. Also kind of sits on top of your face though. Squalane. This is a lightweight moisturizer. So that's going to help hydrate your skin and it doesn't have a greasy feel to it. Dimethicone. There's another silicone. So if you're not seeing the trend, this is a really silicone based product. Um, tartaric acid, this is an alpha hydroxy acid, so it's gonna help kind of like exfoliate your skin. Basically those AHAs exfoliate and then also increase cell turnover. So you have like new baby skin faster, like your skin cells already generate and create new skin cells all, this, all at the time, but AHAs kind of help you get that faster because it's taking that dead layer off in addition to promoting that cell turnover rate. So you're getting those little baby cells faster. Really, really good for skin, but also another irritant. So if you're easily irritated with AHAs or easily irritated with vitamin C, or you just have sensitive skin, that's not what this is for. <laughs> They also have green tea extract in this, which is really high in antioxidants. I love green tea. I love caffeine for skincare in general, but I really love green tea for skincare. 
And then sodium hyaluronate, which is the sodium salt of hyaluronic acid, is my favorite form of hyaluronic acid, and it penetrates your skin, but to the kind of like first layer. So it causes a plumping look, and that plumping, it absorbs moisture inward and causes that plumping. So it kind of gets rid of fine lines a little bit. It gives you just a little bit more of a youthful appearance every time you use it. So that is the ingredients on this one and what they do. And the, you have your warnings about sensitivity because every vitamin C, every vitamin C doesn't matter. There are warnings about sensitivity, even the ones that are derived other ways, but this one especially, it's like full force. I did look at the reviews and it's 4.4 stars with 1,707 reviews. There were actually reviews that said, I have sensitive skin and this worked for my sensitive skin. Based on the ingredients list, I don't believe them because there's not even an ingredient that's doing kind of a calming thing. Like sometimes if you see like Centella Asiatica or like Aloe, some of those other ingredients that are made to do the other, like help, you know, counteract that vitamin C, this doesn't have any of that. So I don't know where they're getting this, but there were more than one review. So I will say, I gave you my warning. I gave you my warning based on the ingredients list. If you read the reviews, you will find a handful that say it worked for my sensitive skin. You'll also find a handful that say it didn't. So maybe it depends what type of sensitive skin you have. They do say that it's drying. Some of the negative reviews said it was really drying. And I saw that in a lot of reviews. There were a lot of positives that they saw the brightening. They saw their sunspots were gone. Like it was effective and full force vitamin C, you can see that a little bit more. And this has some other ingredients too that I think help support that vitamin C. So the last trend I saw was that it feels really nice, really lightweight, not greasy. And I could, I could see that from the ingredients list as well. Next up, we have one of my favorite brands, although I am very suspicious of this particular product. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Clay Pore Tight Facial Mask for $40 retail value. I love Glow Recipe, they're vegan, cruelty free, they're a lot of things free actually. They're free of parabens, free of mineral oil, free of sulfates, free of silicones, free of phthalates, free of synthetic dyes, free of synthetic fragrances, which is nice because we don't know what they put in those synthetic fragrances, and free of drying alcohols. You're gonna get 2.02 ounces with this, and this is a mask. So you put it on, you leave it on for five minutes, and then you rinse it off, it's not like a drying like peel off mask, although it does contain some clay in it. And then it says if you have sensitive skin to only leave it on for two minutes and work your way up to those five minutes. So I tried to look in the ingredients list and see where is this sensitive skin restriction. The first ingredient is water. Water's great. Then glycerin, that's a humectant. So it's like moisturizing. Then you have your first clay, which is the kaolin clay. I like that clay. It absorbs all the oil from your skin, so it's really good for acne prone skin or oily skin. Then you have sterile alcohol, which is a fatty alcohol actually, so it's not really drying, it's moisturizing. Uh, it's softening and smoothing out your skin. Then you have caprylic triglyceride. This is a derivative of coconut oil, moisturizing, lightweight moisturizing. Bentonite, which is another type of clay, this is also absorbing excess oil. Then you have something that's a, remember how we said alpha hydroxy acid? Now we have a polyhydroxy acid and this one's called gluconolactone. This is also exfoliating your skin, also promoting that cell turnover. So it has a similar ingredient to the other one. It's doing the exact same thing, that exfoliating and then cell turnover. New baby skin cells to the surface. Then you have hydrated silica, again, really absorbent, mattifies. Next, willow bark extract. This has salicylic acid in it. So salicylic acid also exfoliates your skin, unclogs your pores. This is definitely like oily skin, acne skin product. Uh, Seawater, emulsifiers there, then you have a thickening agent, watermelon fruit extract, watermelon fruit ferment extract. So you have both of those really full of antioxidants. The watermelon fruit is antioxidants and vitamins, and that's kind of like giving you brightening. But this whole line by Glow Recipe, I've read about it. I have some of the other products in this line. It's about brightening. That's what watermelon is for. And then it has the watermelon fruit ferment extract that actually has probiotics in it. So it's like balancing your skin's microbiome basically. Next we have sodium hyaluronate. Again, my favorite form of hyaluronic acid, penetrates your skin, plumps from within. You just look just so, you know, youthful. <laughs> but it has the next one. 
is hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate. And so there is a difference between this. Hydrolyzed is like chopped up with water. Um, <laughs> if you can imagine getting that sodium hyaluronate, which is already the sodium salt, smaller molecular level than just hyaluronic acid. And that's how it penetrates. Then you get an even smaller molecular weight with the hydrolyzed. So it's going deeper in your skin. That's kind of the difference between those two. I prefer sodium hyaluronate. I have oily skin. Sodium hyaluronate, because it's sort of like the first layer, like the first level, is causing the plumping. The other one is causing like really deep moisturization. And one of the things by it going even deeper is it's promoting collagen production. So also still anti-aging, but not more immediate. Like sodium hyaluronate, you're gonna kind of see. If you're using that on, on the daily, you're gonna see that right away. You're gonna see those like fine lines just filling in. Really just full of antioxidants, like goji berry. There, I think there was even more antioxidants. Yeah, blueberry seed. You have a lot of antioxidants in here. This ingredients list has so many things. So I might be missing something. There is, I see more silica. That's, I see sugar, glucose in there. So it helps kind of hydrate skin as well with sugar. Nothing else in here looks like really important. It does have fragrance, but like I said before, it doesn't have synthetic fragrance. They, that's a promise the brand just makes. Glow Recipe just makes that promise. This does have a lot of reviews. Glow Recipe is a very popular brand. It was like 2,500 reviews and 4.6 stars. I don't remember the exact number, but pretty close to 2,600 actually. People like the scent. It has kind of like a watermelon scent. The other products, I think it's a strong scent a strong watermelon scent. It does dissipate over time. I do use those products, so it doesn't give you a headache or anything like that, but I think the watermelon's pretty strong, and I can only imagine this one's also strong. But you're only leaving it on for five minutes, and then you get it washed off. They did mention drying, if they had dry skin. The product kind of mentions it's not for, like, I think it's called, like, pore tightening face mask. I would, if I had, dry, tight skin, I probably wouldn't use it, but most of the reviewers that mentioned that it was really drying say, oh, this is probably better for oily skin, I have dry skin, or something like that. Some people said that they liked the way their skin felt right after using it, and they could see some a difference like right away from washing it off. Some said they saw the pore tightening, others said they did not see any pore tightening in the used entire thing. There were some negatives too about the packaging. I can't remember anything else other than that for the reviews. So we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is Fenty. Fenty Skin, this is also a cruelty-free brand. They're cruelty-free, they're vegan, also gluten-free for this particular product. I don't know if all their products are gluten-free, but they might be. This is their Cherry Dub Triple Action AHA. So all three of these have this like exfoliation and cell turnover, which is apparently the theme for this category. But this is a body scrub for $36 value. $36 value is pretty low for category one, but you get 8.5 ounces, Fenty Skin. I kind of trust the brand Fenty Skin. And this says massage onto wet skin, rinse, and use two to three times per week. There were a lot of mixed reviews on this. I'm gonna go over the ingredients first and then we'll talk about the reviews, but I read like 20 people saying fine, too fine, didn't exfoliate enough, and then other people saying way too coarse, this ripped my skin. <laughs> like, I probably has to do with whether you have sensitive skin or not. I like gritty, like, give me as like, I want a whole new face when I'm done scrubbing my face and I want a whole new body when I'm done scrubbing my body and my skin can really take it. I don't have sensitive skin. So I imagine it's probably the mixed reviews is not that they're just getting that much inconsistency in the product. It's probably just what your sensitivity is. So let me look at the ingredients list really quick to refresh my memory in order. There's It's water-based, then they have glycerin, that's moisturizing, humectant, uh, hydrated silica, that's also gonna be absorbing. So a little bit of uh, mattifying your skin there. Pumice, so this is a natural exfoliant. That's gonna help remove those dead skin cells. Sucrose, that's another exfoliant. It's sugar, but like that's another exfoliant. It's derived from sugar at least. And that's also gonna smooth your skin out. Glycolic acid, this is your AHA. So in the title, it says triple action AHA body scrub. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that's gonna exfoliate your skin. And again, promote that new cell turnover. So you're getting new baby cells to the surface faster. So some things that are just like really good at moisturizing, same thing, caprylic triglyceride, another moisturizer, that's the coconut one. Uh, lactic acid, so that's another AHA. This is gonna exfoliate your skin again. New cell turnover again. What else we have? Shea butter, it's one of my favorites. Next we have sweet cherry oil. I think, was it called cherry? Cherry dub, triple action, yeah. So that's where that comes from. That's gonna be really full of antioxidants. Cherry's really full of antioxidants. 
also uh, has acerola fruit extract, which I believe is also related to cherry. I might be wrong, but I do know that it contains a natural form of vitamin C and again, really full of antioxidants. Ooh, now we have some enzymes. So bromelain is an enzyme from pineapple. That's also gonna exfoliate. So you have, like, I think we've had three AHAs already, maybe two. And then now you have two enzymes that are helping exfoliate your skin. One is called bromelain, which comes from pineapples. The other one is papain, papain. I don't know how you say it, but I do know that's just the papaya version of this enzyme. You also have some probiotics because I see lactobacillus in there. <laughs> I butcher the way things are said, but trust me, you're getting the right information. I'm telling you what they actually do. Then you have bitter cherry shell powder, uh, another exfoliant shell powder is kind of like, that's probably what the people that say it's too gritty. Like when you hear walnut shell powder or any of like that, it's like grit. Anything else? Chocoferrol's vitamin E. Coconut acid. I'm not actually sure what coconut acid does, but I'm assuming it's something derived from coconut oil. You have a bunch of extracts here. Rice bran, sunflower, rosemary. Nothing else that I see that needs to be called out. I'm looking at the time and I'm seeing that this is already a really long video. So hopefully this isn't a long video for you and I've cut a lot of my talking out, but I'm gonna leave this in. So in case it's long, this is my apology, but you want the information and I don't know another way to give it to you other than to make some of these really long. The reviews, 4.4 stars, 375 reviewers. Some people really love the cherry scent. Some said it wasn't strong enough. Some said it was too strong. Scent is in the nose of the smeller. Uh, it was compared though to cher old cherry slushies, which intrigues me. But what intrigues me more is it is compared to the Bath and Body Works Cherry Merlot hand lotion and that used to be my favorite soap but I love a good cherry scent so I'm intrigued by this I don't know if it'll make it into my box I'm only gonna pick one item per category I'm trying to save money so I'm only gonna pick one item per category you could try to guess in the comments down below which one you think I'm gonna pick based on how I've been talking about all the items but like I said earlier some said this is super gritty I love it it's the best and then some say like not gritty enough or too abrasive like literally everything you can think of of how the exfoliation how exfoliating it is every possible uh trend multiple people it was pretty even and i wish that i could i like really like it when it's real like obvious and i could tell you like yeah everyone thought it was really coarse i honestly i it was not obvious and i read a lot of these reviews i read more of these reviews to try to get it to uneven itself out but it just kept evening itself out there were some negatives a couple of people maybe like four or five that said there's a lot of cheaper alternatives that are either better than this one or really similar to this one i think the dove like aha was mentioned and also there was a first aid beauty exfoliant the like kp one we're not paying full price for this one so it doesn't matter if something is cheaper and equal if something's cheaper and better though you might have my attention and i'm down to the last item technically there is a throwback item i'm not going to talk about it other than just mentioning that it's in this category because most people already have it so if you don't have it i'm sorry maybe i reviewed it before i probably didn't because i haven't done these reviews in a while but i'll talk about that at the end the next one is from Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare. It is their Advanced Retinol and Ferulic Overnight Texture Renewal Peel. So this is like kind of a mini at-home face peel and you get eight of them for a $42 value. They are cruelty-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, sulfate-free, and vegan brand. Like I said, it comes with eight peels. Each peel is 0 0.07 flow ounces, so you can multiply that out. It says 4 p.m. use, overnight peel. Um, and two to three times per week you put it on clean skin. This is also water-based It says witch hazel which has kind of like astringent properties It's going to kind of like tighten and tone your skin. What else do I have here? Some moisturizers retinol. So this is vitamin A. It's going to improve your skin texture uh, Some people are anti-retinol. I'm not gonna get into that debate. I am not anti-retinol but if you use anything with retinol in it make sure that you and your sunscreen are BFFs because it does increase kind of like the sun and your skin not agreeing with each other and some other negative side effects of that. Then there's Bucachiel, which is a natural retinol, which actually has some of, doesn't have the same negative like 
effects of retinol, but it still has the positive improvement of skin elasticity and texture and reducing the wrinkles and all of that. So a lot of people like to use that instead. It's interesting to me that both of those are in here. This does have Centella Asiatica, which is something I mentioned earlier. That is like an extract that has anti-inflammatory properties. It helps with redness, really calming. If you have sensitive skin and that ingredient is in your skincare, it's kind of helping balance out the other ingredients that might be causing your sensitivity. Ooh, they have something else here. This is derived from chamomile. It's bisabolol. Again, we don't know how to pronounce things on this channel, but we know what they do. This is derived from cam chamomile. Also has kind of like that anti-inflammatory, like soothing. So the fact that it has both of those is great. It has ferulic acid, which is in the title. That's an antioxidant. Uh, sodium hyaluronate, again, the sodium salt of hyaluronic acid, my favorite form of hyaluronic acid. Uh, squalane, which is moisturizing. It helps like hydrate your skin. This also has linoleic acid and linolenic acid. One of those is, the first one is omega-6, the second one is omega-3. It's essential fatty acids and it helps your skin kind of maintain its skin barrier, like the surface of your skin. This also has like a, a tea leaf extract. So when you see Camilla sinensis, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, leaf extract, that could be white tea, could be green tea, could be black tea, it's a tea. Sometimes they tell you exactly which one it is, this one doesn't, but all of them contain antioxidants. Next is aloe leaf juice, another soothing ingredient. I will say because this has retinol and all those other things that cause that kind of irritation, that's probably why they're adding Centella Asiatica and the chamomile and all of this, like they have cucumber fruit extract, again, soothing, aloe leaf. Um, they're trying to help counteract some of those other things. This is a peel. It's not meant to not, it's not meant to just be like super like light and sensitive skin friendly. <laughs> Anyways, this does have two alpha hydroxy acids. So it has lactic acid and mendelic acid. That's going to exfoliate your skin, promote new cell growth. Like I said before, anything else I think is important. A lot of other moisturizers, nothing else that I think is super important. There's some phospholipids that helps maintain again, your skin barrier. Their reviews are actually really high for what this ingredients list would predict, but I'm guessing maybe sensitive skin, the negatives were about it being too strong for their sensitive skin or irritating or drying, but 4.8 is really high with 447 reviewers. And I expected to find more irritation because this has a lot of irritating ingredients, but I didn't. Uh, a lot of the reviewers did say it improved their skin texture, did say they saw a reduction in wrinkles. So basically that like it's working. There are some people said that they were able to use it nightly. I wouldn't recommend using it nightly, like eight nights in a row. That would be a lot. This says on their instructions two to three times a week, There, were, but there were more than one reviewer that mentioned like they used them nightly in a row. Crazy, right? Um, a lot of people liked that the packaging was really easy, just like one at a time type deal. It comes with eight. That's it, $42 value. That's your second to last item because there's a throwback item. I don't know if they still call them throwbacks, but it is the Kate Spade New York. I'm just gonna put a photo up. The lemon pitcher and set of two cups. I feel like I did review this before. I, so I might have a video on this somewhere else if you wanna go find it was probably last summer or last spring because I remember saying that I really didn't like that the pitcher and the cups don't really match, but a $38.95 value. I could tell you the information. It's a 58 ounce pitcher. It's a 12 ounce cups. The cups are dishwasher safe. The pitcher is hand washing preferred, I believe, because it has the like lemon design outside of it. It's made out of acrylic. It's not insulated. Really, there wasn't too much information. I don't think there was information last time either. And I just like, I didn't get it because I didn't like that it wasn't matchy matchy enough, which some people care about that, others probably don't. That's it. That is your entire category one. This is a really long video. It's gonna take me a long time to edit. Like I said, my channel subscribers, I want to thank you guys so much because you've you've stuck around and stayed subscribed when I haven't like for over a year given you any benefits. So I hope that you enjoy seeing these videos first. I will also maybe try to do a little video maybe on my customization day and I could talk about what I picked or what I didn't pick or something like that, just like as an extra thank you for all of you that are still supporting me. You know, I know it's only $12 a year, but still like <laughs> it matters to me that I'm not providing anything for that. So I will try, I, I always say I'm gonna try to get back on that, but I will try. 
and I appreciate you guys being here anyways. So you are getting these earlier. Maybe some of these will come out like during customization or before customization. So it might actually be helpful for you to get them earlier. We'll see. And really thank you to all my channel subscribers. It's not just about my members. I'm just kind of giving them a shout out because they haven't gotten anything. <laughs> they haven't gotten anything for at least a year and a half, maybe even two years. I don't remember when I kind of like went off into the deep end and like I have a lot of life things that went on. So I'm, I'm not saying I don't have excuses, but still. It's their, it's their hard-earned money. Even though it's 99 cents a month, it's still their hard-earned money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below. What are you getting? Um, is there anything that I said that you want more for clarification on? If I can, I will try. I take a lot of notes. I, I share what I can, but I can't share every single thing. My videos would be like six hours long. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!